Get a YouTube. So, say so in the mail. This uh, multi purpose TM branded uh, variable speed bench polisher. That's not accurate, that's a different model. That's um, arrived from banggood.com for the purpose of review. So, we're going to give it an unbox and a bit of a look at what comes in the package. What you get, you get a instruction book. It's all in Chinese, I'm assuming, but it does have pictures. And it's got an exploded view of the uh, unit. We don't need instructions. Okay, so here's the unit. Oh, cool, it's got some rubber feet. Australian plug, that's a win. And it's variable speed with a switch there. And another switch there. Alright then. So it's obviously a brushed universal motor. It's got a shaft at each end. It actually sits on the bench quite nice. Focus. Alright, so you get these beautiful tapered 8mm spindles, which are marked right and left. That's the right one. There's our left one. Little L there. There's an Allen key. Included in package. Let's quickly zip them up. I like it because it's got open sides, like there's no, no guards on it. Guards aren't real good when you're using a polisher. They kind of more get in the way than help when you're trying to polish things because you're trying to polish them up and over like run stuff over the top of a polisher I'll okay, get back in the box there's another thing I just noticed, there's a nice big engine fan in there just good because your normal bench grinders don't have any kind of Cooling, they're normally a sealed, um, normally a sealed motor. Okay, so it comes with two of these, which are like a Scotch Bright kind of cleaning there. Like a woven Comes with a set of carbon brushes by the looks of things. Just as spares for when you wear them out. I think you normally use the white one before you use the yellow one. The white one for oh no, the yellow one for cutting, white one for polishing. Anyway, I've got a heap of them in the shed. But yeah, it's a spare set of carbon brushes. Should just under these little caps. It's just a pair of them. That's cool. I don't think they give them to you for the fact that they're going to die in a hurry, but more of the fact that uh, when they do, you've got some brushes. It's a bit of an old school thing. Just wind it on a handful of turns. Undo the little cord cable tie. Okay, let's plug it in and see what happens. It goes nice and nice and slow as a starting speed.
Okay, so that's just a master off. Well, that's full RPM. Put a little blue LED there to say that it's on. Variable speed's very good. find something to uh, get rid of a clean up with the scotch bright pad and uh, I'll come right back. Alright so I found this socket that's got a bit of surface rust kind of crap on it. We'll see what the scotch bright pad does. So as you can see, it cleans up stuff beautifully with one of them little scotch bright pads. Now this thing doesn't really dip that hard in RPM. Sound doesn't turn a great deal. Yeah, that's quite impressive. Absolutely zero heating it so far. Tiny little bit of warmth coming out the fan ports. That's a cool little unit. So, uh, yeah, this was sent to me by banggood.com for the purpose of review. There's a link uh, in the top of the video description if you'd like to buy one. Um, it's got an affiliate code attached to it, so if you buy that you help the channel out a little bit at the same time. It's, uh, it's variable speed is really good, and uh, obviously you're not limited to the couple of attachments that it comes with. Anything that will go on one of these spindles uh, would be very useful. And uh, yeah, like I say, if you can support the channel by buying something that you like and something that you'll use like this, don't hesitate to ask and I'll uh, link you an affiliate code to anything on banggood.com. There's also just a link in the description down there. If you click on that it will take you to banggood.com. You can then buy things and I'll get a little bit of a kickback. Thanks heaps for watching guys. This is the little bench grinder they have on there. There'll be a link in the description. It's a TM brand. I don't know what that is. Bit of a generic thing. Awesome little, awesome looking little motor. We might have a look and see what kind of bearings it's got in another video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, for now, that's it. Thanks heaps for watching. Catch you on the next video.